Hi there, it is Kim Marie on this gorgeous, gorgeous day. I am on a busy road, but I am here in Stone Mountain, Georgia after just doing an amazing workshop on energy, how to uh, empower yourself and get unstuck from those areas of life where we don't know how to shift that energy. So uh, everything is about energy, but I am here at this amazing bed and breakfast at Stillwells. It's awesome. And I want to talk today about how to create more intimacy in your life. So uh, it's a busy road, so don't mind the traffic. Um, how do we create more intimacy in our life? Well, it really starts by being authentic, being true to who we are, tapping into our heart, um, wanting to, intimacy is about letting people see who you are, into me see, right? It's allowing others to really see who you are. That means the good, the bad, and the ugly. That means understanding uh, that w everything isn't always perfect and that we're not going to glaze over the top. We're going to let people go a little deeper and understand what makes you tick, which helps people understand how to navigate a relationship with you and by sharing what what makes you feel good and what makes you feel heard and what makes you feel celebrated so it's not about changing someone else at all right it's about it's about learning who you are and what makes you come alive? What makes you feel celebrated? And then in, in, in learning that within yourself, you know how to start filling your cup once you know what your needs are. And then sharing that is a beautiful thing because um, even when someone's sharing a very sad story, like in my workshop yesterday, there was a huge level of intimacy. And the way I was able to create that with people I didn't know was to be very real with them, to let them know that we're going to go there. We're going to go right to the edge and we're going to, we're going to meet you in your pain, even though you don't even realize that it's there. And through meeting them, we grew such a level of intimacy in this group. It was so rich, it was so powerful, it was so empowering to connect with people in the heart and to understand that we're all struggling in some way and that you're not alone, that, that you don't have to feel misunderstood, that you don't have to uh, navigate this this alone there's nothing wrong with you you're beautiful and whole so by allowing people to see not only your strengths but your weaknesses the part of you that you struggle with um, allows people to see that real side of you and they and wants to connect and that brings deeper intimacy even in in essential and sexual intimacy when we show up when we don't betray who we are and, and our needs and we show up authentic and, and full, then that experience is, is one of the most spiritual experiences you can have where your two souls can actually dance. So intimacy is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Intimacy on every level. I love hanging out with children because they're so real. They let you know exactly where they are at all times. They wanna, if they wanna cry and take a fit, you know, they take a fit and they don't care what you think. And five minutes later, they're laughing. It's so authentic, it's so real, it's so intimate because you see where they are. So it's getting back to that childlike nature. It's getting back to the, the you know, taking all the pretenses off, just letting that layer of go, like that whole mask that we wear, that whole pers persona of what we should look like. We should be nice, we, we should this, we should that, but then we're miserable. But when we let all of that go and we just come back and we let it fall off, then we come back to the true nature of who we are, which is already beautiful. So step into the beauty of who you are 
and allow intimacy to come in every area of your life. We had such an amazing day yesterday. I did the workshop. I'm doing a couple of more before I leave, but we went and had dinner last night and all these people were talking, you know, to us and having laughs and just, it's just because you're, you're being authentic and you're being mag, which makes you magnetic, right? Um, and it's not because any of us are perfect. It's because of our imperfections. It's because we can connect and we can, and people feel safe when you, when you are real. So to have that intimacy, plug into the realness of who you are. That doesn't mean be mean to people. It means, you know, being kind is who you are. You know, that's what you were born being. You weren't born being crunchy and sharp edges. We were born soft and beautiful. These crunchy, sharp edges came with, with our experiences, but they can also fall off. All we have to do is brush them off and allow us to be who we are. So I invite you to be authentic and to allow yourself to be intimate in every situation, to allow yourself to rise below or to, to go deep below the surface level conversations and allow people to see you so that you can be loved fully for who you are. You have an amazing day. I love you. If you want a clarity call, if you want to reach out to me, if you want to know what kind of work I offer, please do share my videos. If they can help one other person, I have done my job today. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.